Hello everyone, Empty Knight here. Welcome back to my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild playthrough. So we go back down here. Last time we woke up. And explored one of the shrines. And now, of course, we have to do four more. Fun! Um, hmm. Let's go into that forest first, shall we? <laughs> God, say it's quite a beautiful world. <laughs> we start first with a firewall. Look at that sun. Oh. Not really a nice place to live. But still, let's go up here. using the wrong weapon, don't I? Ooh, a fire! What are you doing over here? I thought Oh, I can't carry any more bows. <laughs> Where did my pig go? What's he doing? Come back here. No, in the middle. Nah, come on. Oh, there we are. Get back here. Wolf meat. Oh. That's very easy, right? Very, very wolf meat. Oh, I can't carry more weapons. Boo! I'm doing acorns. I can hear a bird. Yeah, but I guess I need a core at least or something to blow it away. <laughs> I some a skeleton! 
a walking skeleton. I do you think you're walking without my head? Herb. And more choo-choo's. And of course my thing is badly damaged again. Oh, like these weapons really do not last long, do they? Your horn, it's the only me. Okay. I blew enemy. Another chest! Woo! I still swear if I have faces and nose of those things. And we get fire arrows. Dude, woo! as I came down the hill there. Come back over here. And you get Amber. Ooh. Okay, we've got to go through in here, haven't we? And there are more skeletons! <laughs> I can't remember my official name off the back of my head. Dal something or other. Dal Bobbin. Mind you, you get quite a bit of items off her, so whatever. It's alive! Can't take one at the moment. Oh, now that one's awake. Boo. Oh, my thing broke. Ooh. Why are you always breaking on me? Anyway, in a shrine. Let's take this shrine. Yeah, let's open it up. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll be skipping most of those animations. We don't gonna be the same every time I open the shrine. Yeah, that's going to be the same rest of the time. Or very similar anyway. Is there a god? Yeah, there's a god. The room. The bomb with room. room. So now get to blow stuff up. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I've got to go that way. Ooh, more of destroy from blocks. I think that's close enough. Ooh, it is. Travel is Claymore. Oh, that was close. Now up the ladder. Boom. Everything's better than explosives. <laughs> Treasure chest. <laughs> Woo! We get set flying. I get amber, amber. Uh, I'll think that was it. In properly. There we go. Just wait for it to go back down again, if anyone. Kaboom! And there's the monk. Oh, give it to me now. Stop talking. <laughs> you mummy. <laughs> okay. May the goddess smile upon you. So now we get teleporters out. Try the chest. Why did I not notice that earlier? A <laughs> Nintendo Switch shirt. Oh, come on. Do you really have to target me? 
Ah, oh, another one! Hardly! Why are those things still alive? Even what, a hundred years? Then we have, you know, one battery and a battery by now? Oh, on the thing. Anyway, so you know if I, you know, want to have batteries by now? <laughs> Assuming if I have anything like batteries? Ah, <laughs> uh, but I don't want on nuclear power or something. <laughs> I <didn't laughs> But that would be very bad if I want on nuclear power. No, I'm not. Currently in Hyrule, understands what nuclear power is. Or what it can do to you. Gotta be careful, stop, stop. Dead. Yeah, can I come back shield? Nah. I need to get honey. Uh that one. And we get what is the hydro plate? Hmm, not much to be honest. I do exactly. I do not currently need wood. Ooh, mushrooms! A washroom. Others haven't noticed. Ooh. Uh, let's drop off a thing. At least I'm able to get some. Get some of the stuff up now. Are you sending rocks at me? I'm gonna try the chest. I know but it's exactly what Actors meant to be used for, but still. Making up this open pretty easy. And I don't think a throwing spear. Nah, I don't need that, do I? And it seems a bit of a waste of space to have such a big crate for so few items. To be honest. Uh. <laughs> there we are. What's up here? A bomb arrow. And some mushrooms. Well, at least my bow finally broke. There we are, that's the bow sorted out. Let's go see what's in the hut. Aw, oh, scared him away. How long the table? Let's see. Oh, 
I'll eat spicy pepper. But yeah. Yeah, so let's grab these. And start cooking. Lid. But... Yeah, let's wait for him to turn up, shall we? I might have gone back here at night. Oh, the uh -huh. luck guy looks so good. <laughs> what are you doing? I think something. I went to die away. <laughs> okay. Anyway, now we've got to get up there somewhere. Have where haven't we? Uh, I need that axe. Hope I get tongue right. <laughs> A tree branch. Yeah. Now we have to be careful not to fall off. Don't look down if you're afraid of heights. <laughs> not a good idea. Things to bum. <laughs> oh, it's too close. <laughs> oh, try the chest. Ah, more fire arrows. Yeah. Wait. Ooh, it's a crescent moon. Apples and wood. Yeah, I guess we've got to go all the way up here. Using these outlets as places to rest if we need to, so we don't have that much stamina. I don't want to go down on that mushroom. Well, I actually the star. Pretty I can't get it to it at the moment. If it was. Mushrooms, woo! There we go. Got to go. Hang on, where am I? Let's have a look. Don't watch if you're squeamish. I'm scared about heights. I may think well though, considering. Another one to rest on? Don't fall off, you'll die. Oh, 
them. Let's open it up. Wait for it to load up again. And it's the stasis trial. That's actual water with putting on it. <laughs> God. Every time we like went to that trance, but cannot be good for it. Okay. So it could freeze time. Ah, one one. I was close to be honest. And I That's annoying, at least because she has to open it again to see what's in it. Ooh, a sledgehammer. Got an open one and grab this. Mind you. Yeah, just at least did it back better. And again, there was spirit orb, so although health doesn't really matter, does it? I'm sent everywhere, aren't I? To atmosphere. Did it just go to the atmosphere? Anyway, what's up here? <laughs> Got to chase my clothes, haven't I? Good views of this game. <laughs> mm, 
more enemies. Oh, we're sleeping. Come on. I know I can move you. Or jumping down, shouldn't I? And arrows. Those arrows are always useful. I don't think I'll be able to climb back up, back off again, though. For all this game's attempt to make it as realistic as possible, there's still some things that, you know, aren't as realistic. Like being able to climb at the same speed, naked, as when you are got heavy armour on. With heavy s <laughs> Sorry, heavy, with heavy swords and shields and all that on you. I was a thing about being able to not being able to climb inside the shrines when you can climb pretty much the same thing in the out of anywhere else. Come on, up we go. Hello again, old man. <laughs> Rough deck of field. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, Amber. We have a random place to find Amber. I'm first to shrine. I kept going to get, I can get hurt there. A better weapon. Where do those snowballs come from? They're not sending it, are they? Ah, oh, but he, he just set on fire. He set his sword on fire. <laughs> Swords of fire. I think I act as a torch, but obviously it's better to use an actual torch for that sort of stuff because, of like, on any other thing, it'll drain through the weapon's durability like nothing. <laughs> so now, into the last shrine for the moment.
If you require on this trial with Gev, I've got something to do. Lots and lots of nice. Go get ice pillar. <laughs> yeah, at least not slippy ice. Goes well, but it's Uh, wait, I don't have a spear. And here's the guy. So we got the last uh, spirit orb for now. Hello again. How did he? Where did he come from? But nothing in that direction. He's a ghost! <laughs> well, I guess that explains why I was teleporting. Uh, one one. I wanted the map. <laughs> yeah, where we have to go? It's very obviously the Temple of Time. <laughs> where else would he go? Very obvious the temple of time. So let's not make our way over there. <coughs> oh, and the fire's gone out. <coughs> Find where I'm supposed to go. Ooh, it's glowing. Why is it glowing? Let's 
that hot container. So we've got another hot container. Okay. Oh, it's him again. Yeah, so I um, didn't let's go over here. Well at least if you run out of a stand on a ladder you don't fall off to certain doom. Well, not certain doom, but I imagine you know what I mean. Oh, here he is. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. Ah, the king! <laughs> I was the last leader of Hyrule. He's a pro. A kingdom which no longer exists. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared 
from deep below Hyrule Castle. Seize control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Turn them against us. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight bravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. They finally got the power glider! Yay! So that's that quest done. <laughs> oh, chest. Uh, a bow. Uh, let's drop one then. Anyway, I think I'll be ending this episode here. I'll be seeing you next time.